So it's a pleasure to me to announce the next speaker from Denmark. It's Johan Christian Solid from Atomkraft Jatak. Hello there. I just want to start out to say a thanks to all of the organization gathered here today to make this demonstration happen and give yourselves a round of applause for every other organization. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm representing the Danish organization called uh, Forening Atomkraft Jetak, Nuclear Power Yes Please. And I'm here to tell you about how Denmark has failed its green energy transition and how Germany will do the same thing with closing its nuclear power plants. First of all, Denmark only gets 10% of its total energy supply from green energy sources, and that's mainly wind and solar. And that's a problem because we used 30 years to come here with billions of dollars in investments and we only get 10%. And we have to remember that in Denmark we have the best conditions for wind. We have 9,000 kilometers of coastline, we have heavy winds, some of the highest capacity factors, and we still only get 10% of our total energy from green energy sources. And if we have to think, Elan, find out which kind of energy source that's the best to actually decarbonize the energy system. We have to look at countries like France, Switzerland and Sweden where they get up to 50% of the total energy from green energy sources, mainly nuclear power. And I want to apologize on the behalf of the Danish people for actually selling, or the Danish politicians, for selling a non-sustainable solutions to other countries in the world and promising them prosperity and a cleaner future. And it's, we can call them climate criminals, our politicians, because we are sabotaging other countries' climate politics and systems with this idea of we can solve it all with renewables, wind and solar. So an apology from, from the Danes to all of you. And I want to end the speech with a, like a, um, something that we do in Denmark when we talk about nuclear. Because we meet a lot of people that believe that renewables is enough to solve climate change. And then it's, they don't listen to us if we just start speaking about nuclear energy and this is a solution. So we found out that it's more likely to, to like, uh, convince people of nuclear power if we start telling them about how renewables cannot do the, the job by themselves then they will be more prone to actually listen to the, the awesome perspectives of the atom and of nuclear power. So that's just a recommendation for what we're doing in Denmark. But yeah, thank you for your time and glad to see so many people out here in, uh, in Berlin. Thank you so much. Thank you, Johan.